All right, guys, this is it for uh, new comic book day. My top picks, I'm going to limit them to five this week. So starting off, number five, Doctor Strange Nexus of Nightmares, issue number one. This is going to be a one shot. Nightmare has invaded Doctor Strange's dreams and turned them into terrible nightmares. These dark feelings now inhabit every fiber of Doctor Strange's working life and has left him weak and unable to protect the realm. Now Baron Mordo and Nightmare are ready to strike. I think this is going to be a fun read. It's written by Ralph Macchio. Um, it might have some ties into the upcoming Multiverse of Madness film because we do see that scene where he's waking up in a dream and he's terrified. Could that be Nightmare? Who knows? We do know that Baron Mordo is going to be back in the film. So maybe this is going to have some ties into the movie. Who knows? But I'm going to give it a read anyway. Number four this week. The much anticipated issue by Donny Cates. Hulk number six. First full appearance of Titan Hulk persona. So you know Donny Cates, the biggest hype man in the comic industry. Been talking about this character for months. This is going to be the next big thing. I honestly don't think it's going to be. Um, a lot of his villains don't end up panning out. The last one was Noel. Enough said. <laughs> I'm going to give it a read just to find out more about this uh, Titan Hulk persona. But um, don't expect speculative wise to do well in the secondary market. It's just too many printed. Shops had months in advance to pre order this. There's a reason why there's a 1 in 500 for this issue, which is a terrible cover by Ryan Stegman, if you ask me. Um, incentive ratio-wise, the 1 in 200 by Alex Malib is actually pretty nice, but don't expect that to do well in the secondary market as well. Um, I would just get cover A, to be honest, and just read it and see what happens. Number three this week, The Collector, Unit 731. Number one from Dark Horse Comics. It's going to be a four issue limited series about a man dragged back into the nightmare memories of his past during World War II at a Japanese military biological and chemical research facility known as Unit 731. Um, I do like the aspect of it. It could be a little bit of horror, it could be a little bit of investigative um, into World War II, which I do like reading World War II stories. So I'm going to give that one a shot. Number two this week is going to be coming from Image Comics. It's going to be The Secret History of the War on Weed. During America's War on Drugs, the U.S. sends an overzealous soldier to subdue California marijuana farmers, but his mission is jeopardized when he inadvertently gets high for the first time. Um, I think this could be a pretty interesting read. I do believe this is a one-shot as well. Um, the covers are also pretty, pretty cool, but I would... Um, if I'm going to spec on a cover, it's going to be the 1 in 25 variant cover by Scott Koblish. Um, I think it's pretty cool. It's a pink cover, and it has the uh, United States flag in the, uh, in the silhouette of the, uh, the, the marijuana uh, leaf. So um, I think that's going to be a nice one to pick up if you can find it, and I think it might do well in the secondary market. I'm going to be interested in reading it, and I think it's going to sell pretty well depending on you know where you are in this country so um, check out that one for image this week and number one rounding off the week we're gonna be going into DC and this is gonna be a cover by so this is going to be Catwoman issue number 42 the 1 in 25 variant cover by Sozo Maka Micah Sozo Micah I'm gonna go with that one I probably butchered it um, I think it's just a great Catwoman cover. I don't know. People love the whole Catwoman in latex outfit. I think it looks really nice. I think it's going to do really well on the secondary market. And that's going to be my top pick of the week for New Comic Book Day. April 20th, 2022. So that's it for this week. If you like that, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next week, I expect the comics. Out.